This is a Zenith Transoceanic Royal 1000, and it was the first uh, solid state radio in the very famous Zenith Transoceanic series. This was introduced in uh, December of 1957, and uh, the Royal 1000 series was sold until 1968. You could actually uh, buy the Royal 1000 or at your Zenith dealer choose the uh, one of the 600 series radios which was a tube model so you had your choice between a tube transoceanic and uh, the Royal 1000 which was all transistor. There were three, um, three main members of the Royal 1000 series. This one is an actual Royal 1000. The 1000D included long wave and the 1000-1 uh, included a, a jack on the side for a uh, to plug in a 12 volt power supply. Now this radio was the uh, the last radio uh, before the death of Commander Eugene McDonald, who was the uh, the founder of Zenith and the primary driving force behind the uh, the Transoceanic series. So to take a look at this radio, we push this button here, uh, bring down the front uh, cover. I usually like to fold that underneath there. Here we have a world map, a, um, a little uh, wheel here that we can use to, uh, to compare time zones. And then right here is a, uh, a log book and a good bit of information about uh, uh, shortwave radio stations, uh, popular AM radio stations at the time, and also various uh, weather and uh, navigation stations. This uh, handle up here also includes the whip antenna. So what we do is we uh, we push that release there, and uh, I'm going to put up the whip, which will be out of uh, out of your view, but the whip antenna extends. Uh, well up to the ceiling and could actually um, uh, go higher than my ceiling if I had room for such. Now if I uh, zoom in on the uh, on the dial here you can see um, it looks like there's multiple um, multiple uh, bands up there at once but the one at the lowest point is the one that uh, that we're on. This um, uh, knob right here selects the bands and uh, the first one is the AM broadcast band that's what the Hoosiers can knock off Chattanooga in their tournament opener it's at 9 Eastern Thursday night with live coverage right here on News Radio 840 WHAS Okay, so there's a there's an AM station. As I turn this knob, you can get a feel for the number of uh, uh, short wave bands. And I think if I go to uh, yeah, there's a yeah, there's a short wave station right there, uh, picking up with the whip. So. Uh, the first of the uh, transoceanics uh, that was all transistor, the Royal 1000.